Hello everyone, welcome back to my site code diaries. Today we are go we are diving into a fundamental concept that plays a crucial role in the web application that is the basic of cache. In this video we will check the basic of cache concept and how it will help to optimize the website performance. But before we get into the details of today's video, if you have not subscribed to the channel then do click on a subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you never miss any update from our channel. Now let's jump right in. So let's see what is cache. So you have a client device that can be your desktop, maybe mobile also, okay, or can be a laptop. Then you have a web server and then you have a database. So what happens generally in any web, web application that you will request for a data from the server. Server will connect to database and it will give back the data to the again to the server. Server will process it and then it will give back to your device or uh, your browser. Okay, so this is the process. So if you see here, there is a client device and the uh, server device. Okay, both are getting having one trip, and then server is also having a trip with the database. Okay, so now where does the cache is come in picture? Now, if you have uh, some storage, okay, if you get any data from the database and you are using that database, that data, then you, there is no need to go back again and get back the data from the server. Okay, so if you have some storage here at a client device, then it will directly get you your data, okay, from the storage. And and the another place where you can have a storage is at a server level. If you have a server level some storage, then you do not have to go the, to the database and store a data uh, or get a data. So that will be a round trip again. Okay, so all these storage, what we are talking, that storage is nothing but a cache. So if you have a cache like if you have a cache at the client level then there is a no need to have any round trip with the server so all the data already present on the client device that can be utilized similarly if there is nothing in that uh, we have a storage at the server then there is no need to have a uh, anything at uh, any round trip to the database so how will you define a caching Caching is a technique of st storing the frequently accessed data. So remember that the storage what you are using it is for the frequently data. Uh, data. If that data is dynamic, then I, you can't store that into the uh, cache. And uh, so caching is a technique of storing the frequently accessed data at a temporary location for quicker access in the future. This can significantly improve the performance of the application by reducing the time required for connecting with the data source and frequently and sending data across the network so you can see here if if that data is here itself with the storage level then there is no round trip so that will improve your performance of the website now let's see type of cache so th there are three uh, uh, type of a cache first is the in memory in memory this stores the data on the application server memory so data is stored inside the server itself then you have persistent or in process so your cache outside of the uh, process memory it might be in a file or in a database so you can store your cache outside your process memory it is a it is a different memory altogether and that can be your a file you can have a file as a cache uh, you can store a data into the file or you can have a database where you store the data so that is called as a persistent in process there's another one is a distributed this stores the data in an external service that multiple application servers can share so you have a uh, uh, a data which can be shared with with the different different uh, applications then you can have a uh, distributed cache okay so in that case say let's say example like you want to store a uh, country data okay and that country drop list drop down you are using in all uh, your uh, different uh, uh, application or all application okay so data source is uh, your one place only okay so that can be uh, considered as a you can store that as a distributed cache so these three types are basically how the cache is getting uh, stored but what we are storing depending on that the cache again varies you have a page caching where you cache the output of the complete page that is called as a page caching then you have partial page caching 
it is similar to the page caching except that it provides the mechanism to cache only the certain or portion of the pages not the whole page will get uh, cached but in partial it will just partially getting cached and you have a data caching now what is data caching it store the frequently used objects or a data it, it store the data so the difference between page and data is that page generally you might have a html okay whereas data is your, your pure data structure this is these are the type of a cache so what is server side caching okay uh, so what happens uh, that in first request from your client device you try to access the cache server if the cache uh, is not available then it will take it from the backend server and it will store that into the cache server that is your external server this location which is uh, we are calling here as a cache server that is your external location okay so it is outside your client device okay so this uh, uh, type of caching is called as a server side caching so basically your caches are not stored on your devices your, your front facing devices but it is stored on the separate uh, uh, server so it can be uh, 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 like a CDN or it can be any any server or it can be your uh, application server itself okay so this is called as a server server side caching what happened in this case when you are try to access the next time it will only pull it from the uh, the data will get pulled it from the cache server it's about look whatever the external server which you are using as a cache server or cache memory where if you are using the same web server okay so this is how it will uh, push it get the data okay so you are having a two type of a uh, caching when you will do the server side caching you have two type of caching first is the object caching this data this stores the data object in cache okay so basically it create the uh, memory cache memory where you store a data as, as an object and you can get that uh, object into your client side devices from the server okay so that is called as a uh, object caching okay here what we are trying to do is we are trying to save a, a processing time between cache and the uh, database or your processing server okay so that time we are trying to save it and why we are not showing that in this case uh, at the server side because that data might be some uh, sensitive data which you do not want to store on the some client devices okay then there is something called cdn caching this stores of pages in a multiple cache server so cdn setting caching is another topic cdn is basically content delivery network okay so you can have a cdn caching where this uh, caches can be serve the pages to the different different application and also you can have a geolocation based caches like for india you will have a one cdn server for us we will have a separate cdn server so this is called as a server side caching now let's see what is client side caching so in first request the client will request for a uh, uh, client device will go to the client browser and client browser will request the data from your backend server it will get stored on the client browser okay that is your local system okay and then that is your you can view right so it's a client browser which is holding the data this is called as a client side caching so in this case uh, when you are accessing your client browser the data is all coming from the client browser which is not hitting the external server okay so for the client browser you have uh, something called browser request uh, as uh, where it is built into the http protocol standard so in the http protocol standard itself your uh, uh, browser uh, your data is getting stored in your browser request itself then you have a javascript and ajax so dynamic contain the real time without refreshing the entire page so you do not want to refresh the entire page in that case use the javascript or ajax html5 caching so html5 provides the caching by default caching functionality it caches your images scripts and html content basically static resources it get cached automatically in html5 so that is uh and that those get cached on your client browser so you when, whenever there is some new changes it will not get reflected so some you have to clear your cache and then you can see the changes so these are the uh the data which is stored on your client browser so that is called as a client side cache so we have reached the end of our uh exploration of the basic of cache and i hope you found this video informative if you enjoy this video 
uh, and found it helpful please give it a thumbs up and share it with your frail fellow technical friends and colleagues your support means a lot to me it helps our channel to grow in the next video we are going to explore caches in sitecore so this was the foundation of that video so we in next video we are going to see caches in sitecore so be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you will be the first to know when our next video drops thank you thanks for watching this video